Hi there and welcome back to the Ducoscopy Studios here in Geneva. Joining me today is Liz Ashton from Executive Interviews. So Liz, welcome to the studios. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the company that you work for. Well, the company that we work for lives in the video world. We work for lots of different television broadcasters and in fact are here today to see if we can ha establish some sort of partnership with Ducas Copy TV. And what we basically do is on the one hand we are helping broadcasters to sell their content and on the other hand we're helping companies to use it but they but to use it quickly easily and legally so that they can make the most of a television piece maybe the ceo has had an appearance on a broadcaster and they would like to share that copy with their investor audience or their staff and we typically will provide content within an hour or two hours of it having been aired. We're ensuring it goes into a format that works for the company concerned and they can then use it and share it with their key audiences. It's in fact a tiny niche area, but bizarrely we happen to be the only company really that operates in that area uh, globally. So I'm not quite sure how we've managed to do that. But um, we basically solve two headaches. We solve the headache for the company of wanting to get the footage, and then we solve the headache for the broadcaster in wanting to sell it, but not necessarily wanting to sell it directly and wanting to make sure that their copyright uh, is respected within the, um, within the whole process. Absolutely. So obviously it's a technology company. So how has technology evolved and how has the company started and kind of progressed alongside that? That's such a good question because 10 years ago, which is when we started the company, when we were on the phone and I was one of the founders of the company, we would have to explain what online video is. This is pre-YouTube. And nowadays, of course, YouTube is ubiquitous and many, many young audiences choose to accept and, and devour information via video and not necessarily by text. So we're now operating in a world which is much more video friendly. Um, broadband technology has increased hugely. We've now got Wi-Fi in every single room in our house, etc., etc. And indeed, um, Wi-Fi and, and the internet is ubiquitous within any company these days. So um, I can remember, for instance, when we first started contacting companies to use television interviews and pieces of footage, that the computers that their staff used w didn't even have sound cards, so there was no possibility of them being able to watch a video. So clearly we've come a very, very long way since then, thank heavens, because otherwise <laughs> our business wouldn't work. Absolutely. So what kind of audiences do you have and what do they use your company for? The audiences that we have tend to be people who are particularly interested in a certain company. So they might be the investor audience for a FTSE 100 or S&P 500 organisation. Or we will get audiences whereby there are the employees of a very large company, their CEO has given an interview and actually they really would like to see and hear him speak. And some of these organisations, when you have 10,000 staff or 100,000 staff, it's actually really quite hard to meet and greet these, all, all these people. Yet if there's a video, then they can um, put that video up on their internet and all the staff can watch it. And when it's a broadcaster, video rather than one created by the company themselves, it tends to be engaging, it tends to have a lot more pace about it, it tends to be seen as news video rather than something company created and therefore tends to be watched more. So, so it tends to be from an audience pers perspective, investors, uh, uh, shareholders and staff who like to watch these pieces and learn more about the company and hear from the horse's mouth, so to speak, you know, what uh, uh, the CEO is saying about, about a particular organisation that he runs. Absolutely. So obviously it is a media company and you work alongside broadcast journalists. So how do you overcome compliance issues? It's, compliance is a really important point, actually, and I guess that comes um, into play in a number of different areas. Uh, one of the main areas that we focus on and where we help companies is we make sure they're copyright compliant. So um, the copyright for a piece of, uh, of TV footage resides with the broadcaster, in fact, 
And historically, a company might think that it resided with the person giving the interview, which it doesn't. And what we do is we enable a company to use the footage whilst being copyright compliant because we uh, work with the broadcasters at providing the license to enable the footage to be used in certain ways. And that's a really important thing, of course. If you don't pay broadcasters the fees, then they, they're a commercial organisation like any other business and they won't be around. So we help to um, help, you know, keep the broadcasters um, in revenues along with helping the companies concerned to be copyright compliant and not breach any laws around using the content. Well, fantastic, Liz. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me today. Thank you very much indeed for having me. Well, that's all that we have time for today. But for all the latest Dukascopy updates, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.